Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me. But more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Duchess Bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Uh, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the <coughs> box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Individuals that owe the gang money are marked on the map. LS, seek out the debtors and recover the money. Okay. Alright guys, welcome to episode 9, I believe. <laughs> Missed the last week. Just playing way too much Black Ops 4, so. Sorry about that. Hopefully we can get uh, back on track here. Alright, let's go get these... Debtors? I guess, I'm not sure. They're taking money from us? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I haven't played for a week, so. Hey, you there. Tell me what the hell you're doing here. Out of my sight now. On my way out. I had enough of you on our land. Stay away. Well, that got out of hand. Let's show stutters was last seen in this area. Search the area to find them and reclaim the dead. You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the thieves. Good turns. Hold R1 and X while performing these moves. Oh. <laughs> the more I chase, the more you owe. You're too slow, old man. 
Oh yeah. Certain items can be indirect with by pressing X. On them within the satchel, open the satchel by holding. Oh, that's a great treasure map. This guy's still running away. He's probably trying to get to it. right here in this tree. Nice. We got one. And I'll just fast forward it till we're there. Oh, we can speak with the people in this area to find out where the debtor is. Everyone just wants to fight. Oh shit. I don't remember how to fight. This is after me. Oh my. Freaking A. Stop shooting me. Oh my gosh. Sell down. Okay, still shooting me. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This has been a mess. Let's just get out of here. I'm wanted for murder in like every place. <laughs> What is going on? Did I die? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Trying to get us all killed. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it wasn't me. Just calm down and stop acting like a fool out there. Uh oh. Getting in trouble by the boss. Let's go do the last deck quick. Alright, let's see if we can find someone to talk to. Maybe I'll just walk in here. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, speak English? Me? Uh, in Silesia. Yeah, good uh, I'll for you. I'll Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Ah, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Uh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is he? Oh. Oh. No. No. Nye. Nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego! I have nothing! Przestań! Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! Uh, don't have money, but... But you have this! It's uh, good! It's good! 
valuable. It's, it's Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. I need, I must eat, Proshe. Okay, that should about cover things. But I'm still gonna search everything. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. <laughs> I didn't have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing. Shut up. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please, 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 no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Just running through these people. Get on. Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Bad. People who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Don't want lesson learned, you don't want to owe us any money. And a seat in a swig, Arthur. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. 
Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I. Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I, just I guess I'll help her. Arthur, if you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Alright, we made it. Of safety. Yeah. Uh, Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Not safety. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Yes, I am. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Move out of my way. Goddamn lunatic. Am I getting through to you now? That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, well, come home. Not a chance. Careful. Uh oh. Why can't I rope him?
Uh oh. It's gonna get hit by a train. Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Salute us out. What's it supposed to do? Retry it. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm gonna I don't wanna live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. So it puts her two the one of the I just guessed. Okay. Okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, James. <laughs> I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. I mean, apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it 
quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. And that'll about wrap it up for episode 9. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll see you guys in episode 10. Feel like the luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool that woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more but somehow I imagine I shall